Okay, here we go. I'm certainly not an expert at doing video like Sheila is, but I told her that I would definitely open this box on air. My husband wanted me to wait till he got home about nine tonight, and I said, mm, I don't think I can wait that long. So he helped me get set up, and he'll probably edit it when I'm done. But for now, here we go. I'm going to open it. You know, she always has the most amazing things. I have some, some trims here that I want to give. If my voice sounds weird, I'm just getting over being sick. Actually, I'm still a little bit sick. But I couldn't wait. this. I don't have that one. It's so pretty, Sheila. And another stamp. And some, boy, I haven't seen these since I was a kid. I remember my mom collecting them. Sheila, I love, love, love these. They remind me of the country, what is it? The diary of a country woman. Look at them. They're too pretty to use. They're no cards. I've never seen them. I love them, love them. just some little script washi tape, some musical, which I definitely will use that, and some more musical. I don't know how Sheila knew I liked music so much. Oh, um, and look at her. She's cute, huh? Let's see, we've got some little, some little cutouts. Some little pieces of whatnot. I'll lay it all out on the table after. Some ribbon. Some ribbon I don't have. This is very cool. I've never seen ribbon like that. Look at that. It's kind of thick too. I have an idea already what I could use that for. And some more little. These are really old. Oh, these are made in Germany. Aren't those pretty? Love stuff like this. <clears throat> Looks like a little dictionary. Uh, some old pictures. I was going to dump this out on the table, but I think it would be too crowded. I guess we can get some of it out. Here's some nice gold ribbon. Gold is. Gold is one of my favorites to create with. There's an old postcard of the Cabana Lodge in Phoenix, Arizona. Wonder how many people have been there. Lavender. I'm, purple is my favorite color. And I'm working on putting together something very purple. Some sequins, some more sequins, some more sequins, some more sequins. How many of you have sewed with sequins? I never have. This is pretty trim. Like this. I like that a lot. I bet Sheila, you were really busy putting these boxes together. 
gave me a good idea for all of my gazillion stamps that I have. This is pretty too. A little more purple. Let's close this up here so I don't stab myself. are sweet, sweet sentiments. Sweet sentiments. Thank you, Sheila. You're special to me, too. I love trees, too. Oh, uh, cute little confetti maker. I'll have to try that one out. in the process of making a set of these and going to try to sell them. is awesome. I do not have that. It's a die. It goes on the top of this box. What do we got here? Lead paper sacks. Gorgeous. I absolutely love this. Open it up. Mm. I'm gonna have to make something out of that. Oh my 
gosh, look at these. Oh, Sheila, I'm in love. Look at these. I just love this Indian boho look. And here's another piece. Get this out of my hair. Let's turn it on this way. That's pretty. Absolutely love it. I'll show you this one again up close. Christmas here. Now let me show you these other things I got from her that I didn't have a chance to video before. I bought some of her add-on fabrics when I bought my last uh, trim bundle. Let's see. And these are kind of different than I usually use, but I love them. I'm, I'm really drawn to the boho look. I love the shabby, but I love the boho. I think the boho is, it's just me, probably from my hippie days. Here's the back of that, with the border on the other side. Growing up in San Francisco Bay Area, uh, during the 60s was an interesting time. That's what these fabrics remind me of. Some of the friends' houses I would go to, They'd have curtains made out of fabric like these. Bead curtains hanging down. Here's another one. And another one. More. More. I remember pillows being made out of things like this. Crazy memories. Good memories. Crazy times. I love this one. I don't know if you can see, but it's got a, like a really pale blue turquoise background. I love that color combination. Another one. Oh, the possibilities. Good as Sheila, can we do the hand thing? Okay, I'm gonna tie this, untie this. I know I'm acting crazy. I'm still getting over being sick. Here's some gold. But it's gonna go very well with this gold ribbon. <clears throat> Lots of colors in this one I really liked. I'm trying to stay out of the camera. I'm a photographer. I like to be on the other side of the camera. <clears throat> this one's pretty. This reminds me of my grandma. Reminds me of pan pansies that she always had growing outside her door whenever I'd go over to visit. This is cute. Some gold. A little bit of bling. Sheila's trims, you need to. It's Boho Daydreams. I will try to put a link in the um, description when I get this thing uploaded to YouTube. And if you haven't joined my YouTube channel, I hope you will. I'll put the address at the end of this video. It's probably going to take me a couple days to get this posted. 
because my husband's the video editor. I'm not. I'm a photographer. He's a videographer. He's a musician. I'm a writer. He says that I'm the words and he's the music and together we're a song. But he's so busy. He's being a good son and he's been driving, working all day and driving an hour every day after work in this scorching weather to go out and mow down the hay at his father's farm. And every day he's been doing it. He's gone now and he'll have to do it through the weekend. He had to mow it. Now I think today he's going to start raking it. No, I guess he's got one more to cut today. Then on the weekend he'll rake it and bale it. That's what you get when you marry a farm boy. Pretty. This is this is nice boho. Pretty. Guess I'm kind of going slow. I'm sure my husband will edit this to make it not be quite so funky. You know, I have an embroidery machine that I brought several years ago, and do you know, I've never embroidered one thing on it. I think it scares me using so many color threads. One of these days, though, I'll make time to learn it. This reminds me of Christmas. That's pretty. I might kind of go with it. I'm gonna go do something with that stamp with that. Doesn't that kind of go? That reminds me of fall. I think I heard it's 30 days away. <clears throat> We've had like 108 to 116 degree heat index here for the last week and a half. It has been a scorcher. I pretty much stay inside though. See that? Yeah, it did yourself. Absolutely. I was blown away. So, as usual, you have inspired me. Thank you.